Hello again, this is Paul Abrahams from Learn Jazz Piano Online and in the last short session we looked at the notes 5 leading to 1, dominant leading to tonic and in this exercise we'll be looking at the actual chords, the dominant 7th chord that leads to the tonic chord and you'll know if you've been following my course or see me for private lessons that I emphasize how important this dominant seventh is when it's moving or wants to move to its one, to its tonic. Let's start with a scale of B flat major. The five is the F, the one is the B flat, and we're going to now play two chords, the dominant seventh, starting on the five, and as you probably know now, the dominant seventh is built up of a major triad plus this flat seven or minor seven. And here are my two chords. With my left hand, I'm just going to play single notes and my right hand chords. What I'm playing with my right hand is a three, five, seven, nine. That's an inversion of F7 with a 9 at the top and the 1 I'm going to start with the 7 and here's the triad B flat. Let's try another inversion. Left hand is going to play the 5 and the 1. Right hand this inversion of an F7 dominant 7th 7, 9, 3, 5 and then I'm going to resolve it to three five seven nine. I could have done three five six nine, but it's still got that sound of five going to one. So your task is to find any note on the piano. Let's take E. If that's your five, that's the one up a perfect fourth as we did in the last session. And the two chords are E dominant seventh and moving to the one chord, the tonic of the A major chord. So here are a couple of examples. E7. So here I'm starting with the seven, seven, one, three, five, and I'm going to resolve it to the one chord. Now this time it's an A6, three, five, six, nine. So in summary, the dominant seventh, this four note chord, either goes to its one, the tonic, or at least wants to go to the one. It doesn't matter if the one is major or minor. The only time it doesn't go to the one, or doesn't want to go to the one, is in instances like the 12 bar blues, where you have a dominant seventh standing in its own right. So take a look at my Learn Jazz Piano online course and I'll see you again soon with the next episode of Easy Steps to Learn Jazz Piano.